What comes to mind when you hear the word COBOL? Outdated old school technology? A dying language? Did you know COBOL powers 70% of all business transactions? Even though it's been around for decades, COBOL has always evolved, keeping pace with our changing world. Today, the only thing that's outdated is people's perceptions. There are over 250 billion lines of COBOL code supporting core business applications. In a single year, there are 200 times more COBOL transactions than Google and YouTube searches put together. Try to imagine your life without COBOL. No more traffic lights, train scheduling, air traffic control, Forget mobile phone calls or texting or tweeting. Nearly all communications would be wiped out. You couldn't buy food from the supermarket. Most point of sale systems would be down. Plus, a COBOL failure would take out most banking, healthcare, and commerce systems. Things you take for granted would simply disappear. COBOL is everywhere. Without it, we're talking global disaster. Seriously though, we are facing a massive COBOL skills shortage. Huge numbers of COBOL programmers are reaching retirement age and leaving the workforce. This is good news for you, because when it comes to programming languages, COBOL can open the door to new opportunities and could even land you a great job. There will always be demand for COBOL programmers. So if it's on your resume, it will give you the edge over programmers who haven't learned COBOL. Visual COBOL, the next generation of COBOL, connects the old with the new. It runs within modern IDEs such as Eclipse and Visual Studio. Gone are those old school green screens of yesteryear. Today's COBOL can be deployed to .NET, Java Virtual Machine, and the cloud. It's accessible on all devices and integrates with other languages like Java and C Sharp. COBOL is essential adaptable, and here to stay. It can also put you on a very promising career path. Visual COBOL, the language for future generations. Try Visual COBOL today. Find out more at microfocus.com slash bridge the gap.